All right, just made it to stop number three today, which is Rothrock State Forest. I am at the Shingletown Gap um, parking lot, and also the gap I'm walking up is the Shingletown one. Um, but I'm going to connect this with the Musser Gap loop, and there's three vistas and should be some little waterfalls along Musser Run. Um, and then one possible vista or rock sculpture, I'm not sure, it's marked on the map as Roman Tower, so I'm hoping I can check that out too. I'm pu pushing it a little bit with time today, but um, I got here when I said I would be like, you know, the latest I could get here to do this. So um, I'm here, <laughs> I'm going to get started on the trail, and I'll see you guys on it. Just made it onto the official trail. Um, I'm doing a loop up a tiny mountain here to get to a vista, and then gonna cross over to Muster Gap. Um, oh, there's already a split in the trail. Um, I think I wanna go up. I'm pulling up all trails. Okay, so very glad I pulled up all trails. I was about to go to the left, but I actually needed to go to the right. Um, I didn't realize the intersection was so soon here, um, but I am heading up this mountain behind me, which is a little one in front of Tussie Mountain, which is the big and probably the highest point I will be on today. So just following, I guess, the stream up here a little bit, and oh, I sure hope there's a bridge. <laughs> Okay, I should definitely know better than to think a state forest has a bridge for their trail. So I do have to cross this stream. Was not expecting that. I'm thinking that this may be the easiest way across because that is flowing pretty well down there and I don't want to cross there. Um, so yeah, I will, I will let you know how that goes. Okay, always recommend looking around the area because I found a tree trunk crossing, which I passed already, and it is kind of um, textured. Someone must have like cut the top off a little bit, so this is very walkable, which I will do now. <laughs> All right, a little bit of a confusing start there, but I'm officially on the other side of the creek now. Um, it's just over there. <laughs> and I am heading up this small mountain now. Thankfully, I will not have to cross the stream on the way back. Um, although that log crossing wasn't bad. So uh, at least I looked around and didn't attempt to do that because I don't know if I would have made it. <laughs> officially on the blue and white trail. Um, not the easiest. It's very rocky. I knew it was going to be uphill and like there weren't many reviews on all trails from this. There were a few people in the lot. I don't know what other loops are really popular out here but I decided to do this one because I'm at least walking along this nice little stream here and hopefully just going to get some good views at the top. There actually was a steeper trail, so this is a good compromise, I think. Alright, just made it to the top of this first ridge here. I'm hiking to the High Line Vista, uh, or Power Line Vista. I think it's High Line. Um, but it's where power lines are. So should be a nice little view. It's a flat walk, thankfully, from here on out. Um, well, not here on out until I get to the Vista. Then I go into the canyon for Musser's Gap and hiking up this mountain next to me. One 
thing I love about state forests is that they are pretty, like, free to explore. Um, I definitely wear orange, especially this time of year. But there's so many undiscovered things that, like, state parks don't quite offer, like this. Um, you know, it's worth checking out the state forests. It was a bit of a more of an intense hike to get up here, but definitely, definitely worth it. So I just walked down the power lines here. I can hear them sizzling above me, which is a little concerning. Um, but I came down here to get a view of Mount Nittany, where I was this morning. Had a great time sitting down and seeing the views at Highline Vista. It was definitely a highlight of <laughs> this trip so far. This is definitely the best vista that I've seen today. I have two more to see on this trail. Hoping they're gonna be good too, um, but I'd be happy going home with this in my mind. <laughs> Just wanted to mention that there is a shorter uh, loop to do that includes the overlook and you can hike back this way to the car. Um, I am doing the longer version because I want to see uh, Mustard's Gap too, but there is a parking lot over there if you just want to drive separately and see that with a shorter hike. just came down the Mustard Gap Trail and then I'm heading down it further into the Canyon Valley, I guess. <laughs> and then um, hiking the loop back up. There's a vista down here and then I'll be coming up this way and back up to go up Mount Tussie. So I made it to the bottom of the loop trail and I'll be heading up the Frog Hollow to the Vista. But this is the way you would come in if you parked at the Mustard Gap lot. Um, I was not too impressed with the trail down. I thought this run, like it's Mustard Run, I thought it would be a lot bigger. But it's still nice. I mean, maybe the water flow just wasn't that great today. Up Frog Hollow Trail to, I believe it's the Lions Valley Vista, um, but more on that when we get there. This trail has been brutal. And it's actually starting to rain, which I'm not complaining about, because I am so hot. If I had known Muster Gap was just gonna be like a little stream, I'd have never hiked back down the mountain to see it, because hiking up right now, I thought this was a less of an incline getting up here. No, it's not. I'm almost there. I made it to the top of the, the little mountain again. I know most people in December would be upset about the storm rolling in, but I could not be happier right now. It's cooled down. I'm feeling better now that I'm up at the top here. Let's go check out this vista. And then there's some more uphill <laughs> climbing to do. I made it to Lions Valley Vista. It is nice, it's not quite as cleared off, obviously, as the last one. Um, but the rain is definitely coming down now. So I, instead of taking a break here, I'm gonna try to make it up to the top. I looked, the like drizzle is only supposed to last another eight minutes, so hopefully I'll get cooled off on the way to the top of the mountain, and there's a vista right at the top.
wind feels amazing now. I feel like I will be cold in a little bit. So I'm just taking a short break up here. Um, this is really nice. It's the only vista I think that I haven't been able to see any like cities or buildings, anything. I I see a power line way over there, but other than that, it's all the Rothrock State Forest. I am on top of Pussy Mountain, which is the highest peak around. That's why it's so damn windy. Uh, but like I said, it does feel good. I'm just gonna take a short break because I feel like I'm gonna be getting more of the wind going on the ridge of this mountain for about two miles. So um, yeah, just a short break. Oh, one thing that I do not like about winter hiking is that you know, unfortunately you can't take very long at your breaks or at any vistas, especially when it's windy or snowing. Um, but I am back on the move. I am hiking a section of the Mid-State Trail, which is a very long trail in Pennsylvania. I'm not sure how long, but um, this is a section that comes through the state forest here, and it is all along the ridge in Tussie Mountain. So I'm going to be dealing with the wind for a little bit. Um, but at the end of this are the Roman Towers, which I'm going to see, and then do a hike straight down the mountain to the car. But I'm getting pretty ready to go, honestly. I was definitely not expecting to see a vista that I think almost stops on this park. And this one's just like randomly along the trail. Um, wow. <laughs> it is very windy, but it's, it's cool to get another glimpse like into the forest. All right, onward. <laughs> pushing it on time and battery life, so I'm sorry if there isn't as much footage on the way down. Um, I still have not gotten to the Roman Towers, but I have, I think, 8% and about 45 minutes of daylight. I wish I could say that, but it's not, it's already looking pretty dark. I think I probably have about a mile and a half or two and hoping I can get down to the car soon. I didn't think it would actually be a tiny little tower, but that's a nice surprise. Um, oh wow, okay, let's get up here. Oh, wow, just peeking over all the pine trees. Oh. All right, I made it back to the car. I'm sorry about the quality. It actually started to rain kind of bad and it has gotten dark because it's pretty much sunset now. Um, but my phone did die a little while ago, probably about 20 minutes ago. I'm not sure if the video of the Roman Tower got saved or not. I haven't checked yet, but um, I just got to the car and charged my phone a little bit. So noted for next time, need a battery <laughs> to bring. It was nice, it was strenuous. The hike down was so steep and really, really challenging. Um, there's still people out, which I'm surprised, uh, especially in the rain and Wednesday, and it was cold and freezing up on the mountain, but I was, I saw one person on a bike, of all things, up there. Um, I didn't see any of these people, so maybe they went the other way. Um, but there are a lot of other hiking trails. I probably wouldn't recommend the one I did personally. It was a lot and uh, wasn't worth the effort. I can say I have done it. I have been to Roth Rock 
State Forest. That was the first today. All of my hikes today were a first and obviously vlogging too. Thank you for joining me on three hikes in State College, PA. I definitely recommend them or at least parts of them if you're in the area or if you're local here and have never checked them out. I had a really great time filming today. I hope the video like <laughs> comes together well. Uh, and if you enjoyed it and want to see more of my journey and what I plan to do, I'm hoping to do like two videos a month just starting out and don't hold me to that. But uh, that's the plan. I don't know how long this one will take me to edit. It's all a learning process, but if you want to be part of that process, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Please share it too. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.